on, you guys? So, just to let you know, I've been trying to get to sleep earlier and earlier because I've been waking up earlier and earlier. So, I want to start waking up at 4 in the morning again, and that requires me to go to sleep uh, quite a bit earlier. I don't know why I just shared that with you. Just giving you a little inside info, a little inside baseball. All right, so check this out. We have an FBI agent, estranged wife, dead in apparent murder-suicide at Crownsville home. Oh, really? What's this about? Hi, I'm Lieutenant Ryan Fraser with the Anne Arundel County Police Department. Uh, we responded out here in Crownsville in the 500 block of Arundel Boulevard this morning, just after 8 o'clock, for a 911 call for a domestic dispute. When our officers arrived, they located an adult female that was deceased. Uh, they also encountered a male uh, who was deceased. Uh, at this time, we believe that this is a domestic-related murder-suicide. Uh, it's still very early on in the investigation, but uh, that's what we believe at this time. And we believe that there's no threat to the community. We think this is an isolated incident that was domestic-related uh, that occurred inside the address here. So, uh, at this point, our homicide detectives are here investigating. They're here with our criminal investigation unit. Uh, and they're just recovering evidence, taking some statements from neighbors, and uh, the next step is to notify some next of kin uh, to make sure that they're aware of what's going on with the family. So, very unfortunate event. It's a very quiet neighborhood back here in Crownsville. Uh, so we hope to have more information later on this evening when we can identify these individuals uh, and, and put out the exact cause of death. So at this point, uh, again, we think this is uh, the relationship is husband and wife. It's an adult male, adult female, both deceased here at the scene. Uh, we hope to have more information a little bit later on this afternoon. Okay, so there's the video. An FBI agent and his estranged wife were killed in Crownsville Wednesday morning in what Ann, uh, Andrel County Police say was a murder-suicide on the day the two were expected back in divorce court. Officers responded, so they were in court. Might be important because things come out in court. I'm just saying, I, you know, that might be important. Officers responded to a report of a domestic assault in progress in the 500 block of Arundel Boulevard at 8.05 a.m. Police said the caller had dialed 911 on behalf of another woman who was being threatened by her recently estranged husband. Upon arriving home, uh, at the home, officers found a man and a woman outside a home who'd both been stabbed adding that the man also had what looked like to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Donna Fisher, 54, of Crownsville, and FBI Special Agent David Rayner, 52, of Annapolis, were pronounced dead at scene by the emergency personnel. Okay. Let's check out these photos. Let's see what we go with a little faux int here. A little private beach. Swim at your own risk type of deal. Palisades. Always seeing the house where a, a double murder has happened uh, gives me the creeps. Just makes the house have a different aura. All right, so we got a lot of people showing up here. Come on, for the love of Pete Santilli.
I mean, what is this? Are they just taking pictures of cars? Great. At least I know what the cars look like. FBI spokesman Dave Fritz said Rayner had been a special agent with the Bureau since 96, having been stationed at Baltimore Field Office since 03. He declined to comment on what his duties at the Bureau were. Fisher filed for divorce in March 17. Online court records show, and the two appeared in an Annapolis courtroom Tuesday morning. Proceedings were originally scheduled to continue through Thursday. Police did not provide any additional information on what sparked the dispute. The department said Rayner and Fisher have been taken to the chief medical examiner's office for autopsies. A neighbor, who lives on the same block as Fisher, that's usually what a neighbor does, they live on the same block, said the two had two children. County police can uh, not confirm that. Though court records indicate child support was one of the issues in divorce. It really is suspect that they were in court. Neighbor Jim Lind, who uh, lives next door, uh, though separated by a patch of woods from the scene of the incident, said he knew the two, but not socially. Lind said they were neighborly and that Rayer had gone out of his way to help him. So we have woods next door. So we have a, you know, a patch of woods next door. I mean, that's all that that sentence really gives me right there. This guy, Jim Lind, who lives next door, though through a separated by a patch of woods, said he knew the two, but not socially. All right, great. But uh, there's so there's a patch of woods. Lind said uh, they were neighborly and that Rayer had gone out of his way to help him. Quote, when my wife was sick, he provided a small generator. He was very helpful and friendly, Lynn said. Donna was very friendly and personable, always walking through the neighborhood. Another neighbor, Ken Heist, said we saw all the hullabaloo this morning and have heard bits and pieces of what's happening. The first thing I heard was all the sirens coming, then an ambulance, then a fire truck. Shortly thereafter... Half the police force showed up. Based on what we, based on that, we stayed inside. He said he knew the two, but didn't really know them. Wait, hold on. He said he knew the two, but didn't really know them. It's a head scratcher right there. The Palisades neighborhood sits along Little Round Bay on Severn River. Just south of Harold Harbor, most of the homes are several decades old except for the home where the crime occurred. The couple had completely rebuilt the home, completing work in 2008, according to the county permit records. It sits uphill and across the street from the community waterfront park and boat ramp. Last week, an Audenton couple was found dead from gunshot wounds inside their home. Police spokesman Mark Lemansky said investigators haven't determined whether it was a murder-suicide or double homicide, but expects the department to rule on the case by the end of the week. So hold on. Last week, there was another couple that was found dead? Last week, a couple from a, an Audenton couple. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Ryan Frazier with the Anne Arundel County Police Department with our Media Relations Division. Uh, I'm here in Odington. We received a call just after 7 o'clock this morning, a 911 call from someone inside the residence that stated that they had located two people that were deceased inside the house. When our officers and first responders responded to the house and made entry, we located two adults that were deceased inside the house. Uh, they were suffering from obvious trauma. So our homicide detectives were notified. Uh, they're currently on scene right now. They are processing the scene, going through evidence and doing everything that they can to try to 
put all the pieces of the puzzle together. So still a lot of unknowns at this point here, um, but that's something uh, that our detectives are going to be working on to answer a lot of questions today. Uh, we've done a neighborhood canvas. Everyone in the neighborhood says that this family was extremely nice, uh, so it's unfortunate. Uh, but we're currently working with family members and the individual that called 911 to try to uh, obtain more information and try to find out exactly what happened. Uh, is there any concern of any danger to the neighborhood at the moment? You yeah, know, at this point, again, it's still very early on in the investigation, but uh, there's nothing that indicates that there's any type of a threat to the community or to the public at this point. Uh, this appears to be some type of an isolated incident that occurred inside the residence either late last night or early this morning. Uh, so we don't feel that there is a threat to the public at this point. Do you believe that there's uh, there's a person at large responsible for this, or could the, one of the people have been inside the house? Yeah, well, uh, that's one of the questions, uh, one of the many questions that our detectives are going to try to answer today. So, uh, you know, I wish I had the answer to that, but again, it's so early in the investigation, you know, we don't want to speculate on anything. Uh, we can tell you that the family has been very cooperative. The person that called 911 that was inside the residence has been very cooperative, and our detectives continue to talk to them and talk to family members. So uh, hopefully after those uh, interviews and collecting everything inside the house evidence-wise, uh, we'll be able to answer some more questions and, and try to determine exactly what happened. So this was another double murder that happened in the same area. It's all the info I got on that. But actually, this has piqued my interest. Let's go back and see what other people are saying here. Yeah, this is in Maryland. Let's see uh see what Daily News is saying. There's another car. FBI agent and his estranged wife were found dead. In an apparent murder-suicide outside their Maryland home on Wednesday morning, police officers found Special Agent David and his wife dead with stab wounds outside their home. Rainer also had looked what was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Cops responded to the home around 8. A woman called 911 reporting another. Said her husband was threatening her. FBI spokesman told the Gazette that Rainer had been working for the FBI since 2003. Same same story. Same story. Those are the most updated I could find. And there's the Zero Hedge article. But that one had two uh, things. So this is pretty big news. This is pretty big news. I'm going to um, suppose that all these have the same info because they would have ran with it. Uh, they would have ran with more. Well, let's keep our eyes on this because that's pretty uh, concerning that there's uh, two double murders going on. Who knows what the hell's happening? Maybe, it, you know, just a demonic force is uh, in the air. A spirit, if you will. All right, I'm out of here. Have a good day. Bye-bye. This rising tsunami of demons.